Hey. There he is. What's up, bro? How you doing? You know, I am just about coming back to life. Uh, we had a crazy three-week shoot that we just wrapped up here in Rhode Island, which you were a part of. And, uh, you know, a lot of overnights, man. So uh, I'm just getting just getting used to sleeping at night like a normal person. <laughs> it's crazy because, um, as you know, uh, you know, now we can say we're uh, business partners in the in the business. <laughs> We've worked together. We've worked together. <laughs> yeah. So um, it's cool because um, so for me, me and you usually we talk, hang out, just as friends, buddies. Um, but to actually see you in your element, my gosh, Tom, uh, that was no seriously. I, I want everyone to hear this. I want everyone to know this live right now. Um, it was incredible. Like as a director, um, I have not been in many movies at all. Probably not at all. <laughs> but I have been behind the scenes um, of a lot of movie sets. And watching you direct was something very cool to see and definitely special. So, um, you know, I got to give you a pat on the back for that, man. It, it was awesome. Dude, Just that, that means so much coming from you. Uh, uh, you know, I've always had a ton of respect for everything you do in your world of collectibles. So uh, <laughs> to get a chance for you to come into my world for a little bit was really cool. And uh yeah, man, I was so happy to just have you there and have you be a part of it. And I think there's a little secret that you're hiding. And I'm sure people wouldn't find this a shock. But did, did everybody know that this guy's actually an extremely talented actor? Like, the stuff you did, man. Thank you. you, you no, you really shined. Like, like, I put you on the screen there a couple times and immediately, like, you just knew what, what to do without – I didn't even have to tell you anything. You just, like, had a, <laughs> you had this natural ability, man. We just plug you in. I appreciate that. It comes from the invest nows, all the running around having to invest. <laughs> I remember we were hanging out uh, at, at one of your shows, and I was like, hey, man, you know, I think you'd be a good actor. you got, like, just a great natural personality. And you were like, I'm acting all the time, man. <laughs> you were like, you know, like this. I'm always in character. I think that's what you said. You're like, I'm always in character. And I was like, oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, so let's let so with the movie. Um, thank you so much, Tom. I appreciate that. That that's gonna that makes me feel like I did something good. <laughs> I'm very proud of that. Thank you so much. Real, real quick, and I want to get into the details of the movie, but it's always nerve wracking when you have a friend that you you know you you try to work with your friend. You give them a part. You you put them in the mix, and then God forbid they don't really deliver, and then you got to be like, "Eesh, uh, I can't really." I can't really put this in the cut. What am I going to do? How am I going to break my friend's heart? With you, I'm happy because I'm watching it. I'm like, wow, this is definitely going in the movie. And I'm not going to have to have that awkward conversation later with Sweet Tooth where it's like, yeah, the distributor made me uh, get rid of that because there was a lighting issue. Uh, <laughs> but you were great. I'm <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad to this so we don't have to go that. Oh man. So um so here's the thing, right? Um while we were on set, I saw I talked to a few people. Um I met Darren, one of your uh your cast members, you know, Darren you Brooks. were direct. Shout out to Darren. Yes, a legend, a legend. He's a very awesome guy. Um so I gotta ask. First let's start with how is it working with Darren? And like, I saw him and I thought he was phenomenal. Like, really. I can't say enough great things about Darren Brooks, man. Um, you know, it's gonna sound like uh, like I'm I'm kind of just this is gonna sound like a bunch of lip service, but the truth is, like, you never know what you're gonna get when you cast your lead. You don't know what kind of person they're gonna be. You don't know what right. kind of vibe you're gonna have. Right. Darren uh, and I started chatting in pre-production, and after our first Zoom call, I was like. Oh my God! It's like I've it's like I've known this guy for a long time. We kind of vibed and and really connected, uh, and I just loved his personality. And then we did a table read, and I remember just watching that first table read via Zoom. I'm like, Oh my God! This guy is this character. Like he just uh, <laughs> he's just so talented. And then just to get a chance to work with him and and have so many laughs, and you know, there's a lot of uh, movies that I've worked on where. You, you rehearse, and then, of course, you you saw it in action. It takes us, like, sometimes an hour to light the scene. And usually the actors, they go back to their trailer, and they disappear until we need them. 
on this movie, guys like Darren and our whole cast, they were hanging out on set because we were all just laughing, having a good time, yes. you know, chop, chopping it up between takes. They didn't even, like, really go back and spend a lot of time in the trailers because we were just all having so much fun. So whole cast was just awesome to, to be around. Right, right. And I noticed that when we were filming and I was watching some of his – um one of his scenes, you know, and the way he was delivering it, you know, and, and the acting mode that he goes into. When you, this is my question to you, right? When you're, when you're filming this, what, what are you looking for? What, like when you're taking a take, like I've, I've always been interested because I, I saw you were very meticulous, right? And I, and I, like, what exactly were you looking for? Is it, is it the lighting you, you try to capture, right? What, what are you looking for in a scene? Well, you know, if you do this long enough, you start to learn, especially if you don't have a lot of time to shoot, you've got to be editing the movie in your head and you've got to be like literally watching the movie come together and you've got to recognize the small pieces that you need because you watch a movie, there's going to be a cut every five to 10 seconds. I'm just looking for those five to 10 money seconds where I'm just like, oh, that's my piece there. Oh, yeah. here's my line here. Oh, there's my reaction there. Uh, so I'm just looking for those small moments. It's it's really it's not about the one full take. It's about finding the moments and being able to recognize them and know when to move on. Uh, and the cool thing about working with guys like Darren and, and really just the whole cast from William Forsyth to Eddie K. Thomas uh, to Antoine Tanner, um, Bible Stewart, like they just all gave me so much to work with. And this is a happy problem to have. But I was actually talking to my editor the other day. I'm like, man. These takes are all so great. Like, I'm going to have a really tough time. Like, you get, like, fear of missing out. Like, oh, I love this take, but this right. takes a little more serious. But they just, they've given me so much to work with. It's a good problem to have. Uh, and I'm just, I'm excited. We're editing right away. Like, we just got right into it. I'm watching footage all day, and uh, I'm just loving this process. No one was crazy about Five o that no one seems to tell me. I'm standing in front of a, in front of Five o and I go, wait a minute, Five o Stewart? And I was like... No, 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 no. And I look up, Bobo Stewart? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's her brother, yeah. That's incredible. So they're like an acting family. I didn't even, I didn't even know. And Fievel has done other roles. Like, uh, it was funny because there was, a. Uh, am into, like, you know, mythology because I'm into magic and Pokemon cards. So I was watching, um, what is it, the Hansel Gretel. That yeah. Hansel and Gretel. That, like, what? I was like, are you serious? Now, maybe people in the chat, I don't know if they know it, but that was cool for me to see. Well, you know? Doing it, you know, she's been working in movies most of her life. Uh, super talented family. Um, it's kind of funny. I actually worked with her brother on a movie years ago. So there is this weird, like, Kevin Bacon game of life that happens with movies. Um, so, yeah, it, it is really cool. She was just awesome to work with. Really kind of got into the character, you know, was believable as this, like, talented athlete kind of representing her country. Yeah. Um, I just love everything she did, and uh, her chemistry with uh, Darren was great on screen. You know, they're playing, uh, you know, the two leads in the film. So, Perfect. Just, yeah, it was, it, it was, you know, again, I got to say, man, like, a lot of it, a lot of it comes down to just you get lucky sometimes when you pair the right actors together, and that spark is there, and it works on screen. It's just, you, sometimes you, you, you can't plan that. It just happens, you know? Exactly. So I also noticed that, um, so for me, what was going through my mind, right, when I was there, I remember it was a long night. We were up very late. <laughs> and um, for all of you that, you know, are learning about this world, because uh, there's a lot of collectors watching as well as, you know, actors and stuff, too, that are watching or are future actors or whatever. Um, for me, I was in that moment, and I remember I was like, man, you need a lot of stamina. I went in thinking like, oh, I do trading card shows, so I can stay up all night long. <laughs> and lo and behold, I see Tom. He's just like motoring through this, like, you know, scene after scene, shot after shot. And I'm just like, at one point I was like, man, I, I can stay. I can finish. <laughs> Tom looks at me. He's like, brother, you can take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, w I was impressed by you, man, because, you know, it was one of those nights, I'll just give the paint the quick picture, it was an overnight, we were shooting from like, you know, 5 p.m. to 5 a.m., and, you know, w sometimes actors towards the end of the night, like, we, we had a couple shots at the end, we're like, it was like, all right, well, we're going to let some people go home, they can stay if they want to, but, it, you know, you've been here for 12 hours, so you don't need to be here, like, you're your duty has been fulfilled. Right, right. I went up to I went up to my dear friend here and I'm like, hey, listen, 
I know. I know. <laughs> Can you hang on for like another 45 minutes? And you're like, man, I've been here. I've been here this long. I'm not going anywhere. You got me. And it was right. awesome, dude. It was like a scene from the Alamo or something. Like, we're going to, I'm not going anywhere. You know, like it was, it was great, dude. 